Good morning. So, <clears throat> I got a little bit sick before I flew out to Hawaii, but I'm here. It's morning time, right? Yeah, I've been up for a little bit. I really needed my sleep. I was sleep deprived for like two days in a row. So maybe one day's worth of sleep in two days. And then I had to fly, all that sitting down. And then as soon as I got off the plane, I went to go play tennis, but I didn't film because I was just exhausted. And I kind of wanted to just be here and not think about filming, but uh, this is my first morning in Hawaii ever. I'll give you a quick, quick tour. Little view outside from my basement room. If you listen carefully, you can hear a leaf blower in the distance. I can't get away from those damn things. Bed's a mess. I brought my tennis rackets. In case you don't believe I'm in Hawaii, look at this. You convinced now? Yeah. <laughs> my friend, my tennis friend put that on me as soon as I got off the airport. So that's so funny. Making me feel like a tourist. Come on, man. It's kind of a cool decoration in this room. Look at all these seashells. Wonder if Sally sold these, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, be real. Ooh, we got a Tesla. A lot of Teslas. There are a lot of Teslas out here. It's a good sign. Foodland, classic uh, Hawaiian groceries. How's the homelessness out here? Uh, you'll see some people under the highways like this. Huh. And there's some beach areas that have a lot of homeless people. We got some rain on the windows a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I guess it rains at any time. That's funny, I'm getting used to that still. It's so tropical out here in that way. It doesn't rain so much over here as much as it does on the, in the valley area where we're staying. Right Mopeds. Hi. All right, clearly I haven't been filming every step of my day, but I've had my day and now we're at some tennis courts. So here we are. Look at the trees here. You can definitely see it's a different area. Love those trees. Yeah, a little wide screen action, wide camera angle. I'm on court number two. There are two courts here. Some chalk on the ground. It's fine. Shouldn't mess me up. These cracks aren't too bad, actually. They might mess up your balance, but I'm not worried about them being a real tripping hazard. Nothing crazy. All good. I've noticed Hawaii has these nets that are uh, reinforced in that way. That's interesting. I'm also trying an unreleased string. Let me show you, it's my tour line. All right, I'm just getting geared up here, but let me show you what I'm working with. We got Enso in here. It's a silver string, kind of like a tour bite, actually. I guess it is similar to tour bite. Someone asked me earlier if it is. I said, I think it's darker, but this is on my custom racket. It's a Pure Arrow VS. It was the pink one you guys saw earlier, but uh, I've given it a different paint job. Anyway, you guys will see me hit with this, but snapback is pretty good. Let's say if wasabi was a 10 out of 10, this might be a 9 out of 10, whereas your average polyester like Torbite or Hyper-G might be like a 5 or 6 out of 10. So still really good, but it might break a little sooner, we'll see. It pockets really well. I strung it at 52 pounds and it's a 1.25 gauge. Fun fact, they sell a pink one that's a 1.24 gauge, and I'm sure some people are going to wonder why they have a 0.01 difference in gauge size. I don't know, but that's very specific and kind of cool. Got my shoes, I got my grip liner in here. I have a video on grip liner, you guys should check that out. Pen tours. My barefoot shoes, a couple of backup rackets and towels. It's humid out here. It's my buddy's racket who's warming up his hips. Yes, hip warm ups. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Older pure drive. It's in pretty good shape. This is not restring zero in here. I actually don't know what it is, but I know all that you're gonna assume it was. It's not, but maybe in the future it will be. You should ask them in, in the comments if, uh, if anyone has that racket. Oh, somebody probably does, yeah. Say hi or something if you're still hitting with one of these. Every now and then I see him out there on the courts. What, what, who do you mean? You're Falco main? Falco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fellow Spacey main right here. Fellow Spacey main and fellow Babalot main. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Too much melee. All right, well, we're gonna hit. So I don't have my tripod on me right now, but we'll film from the fence. It'll be fine. All right, we're out here hitting in Hawaii by some elementary school, I believe. Just getting warmed up, and the wind is ridiculous, actually. Unfortunately, the trees don't show it quite as intense as it felt on the court, but I was hitting with the wind pretty intensely, so a lot of his balls just died and some of mine wanted to fly out. I think hitting into the wind is the most annoying for me because you can't really read the depth effect it has on the ball. Yeah, I'm just not a fan. And all my topspin balls just get pulled out, but all in all, it was a pretty decent warm-up. 
So regarding this string, it actually feels pretty comfortable. I think one of the main differences between the VS and the 98 Pure Arrow is something that I would identify as a slightly more tinny feeling on the VS, actually. Don't know what it is, I've played around with the weight a lot, and I currently have a leather base grip with lead tape in the handle and some lead tape around various areas of the head, and it still feels that way. I'm 100% sure that had I strung my Pure Arrow 98s with this string, it would feel even a little more buttery. But since I know this racket enough, I would say that these are a pretty soft feeling string. They're comfortable. As far as a round string goes, that's what this is. It gets really good spin. And the pocketing is really good. That actually might be one of the best parts of the string is the pocketing. Snapback, as I said earlier, I've had a little bit more time since recording this too, and I think I stand by that 9 out of 10 if uh, Restring Zero and Torline Wasabi represent the 10 out of 10. I think this is just a point below that. I've noticed a little bit of notching already and a slight drop in snapback, but nothing crazy. I'll get to know this string more and report back to you guys. But so far, so good. So that was the gist of our hit. Those quartz were not bad, actually. The wind was kind of annoying, but it mostly settled down. I kind of only filmed the warm-up portion of our hit. And then we ran out of lights and we explored the area a little bit more to see some other quartz. But I learned today that Hawaii is really interesting in the sense that rain can just kind of happen at any time for any reason. Is that right, Charlie? <laughs> Charlie confirms. But yeah, you can hear rain. Anyway, the quartz that we saw were all rained out. That can happen. So that's the tennis for today but we'll pick it up tomorrow. We're trying to hit every day, I think. I'm always trying to hit every day. All right, check out my Toraline shirt. Yeah. So, I guess I'll just edit this video a little bit and pick up where I left off later. All right, it's another day, but I'm gonna wrap it up there. I just wanted to say thanks for watching and definitely check out the links in my description. Toraline, especially Toraline, because we got Enzo in this video. It probably isn't released just yet, but it will be in a couple of weeks or sooner. You should check out Toraline on Instagram. They're actually really good about updating their followers about what's going on. And if you're gonna get anything from Toraline or Restring, be sure to use my discount code. And my code is back up and running for RTP as well. And those guys make some great socks, possibly the best dampeners ever. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in a future video. I'll be filming up more here in Hawaii. So stay tuned for that. Maybe the next video I'll do is comparing the VS to the 98, the Pure Arrow, because I think I'm ready to do that now. It's been enough time. All right, I'll catch you there. Bye.